spring loss is a acquired profound bilateral loss. Um, and it started around about three years ago. It's proven to be quite a considerable challenge. Um, and I also realistically blanked deafness for as long as I physically could. And actually a lot of the problems of deafness have only come home since I've actually finished work. Confidence in social circuits still is very low. My independence, it meant that I didn't know what was going on around me. The journey with Bruce started as a, a fraught one. We didn't see eye to eye, um, but we grew very quickly. And when he went into training, it was probably one of the most anxious times of my life that he passed. And thankfully he did with um, seemingly flying colors. There isn't anywhere we don't go, hospitals, doctors, shopping, we go everywhere together. Probably one of the places that he's most favoured is the doctors, where we unfortunately attend too regularly. Um, but uh, he seems to, uh, seems to be accepted and loved by all the staff and other patients there. David and Bruce come into the surgery regularly together. It's great to see them together. Bruce is really popular with the staff and a great talking point when he comes in with David. I'm an insulin dependent diabetic. Um, besides being a hearing dog, one of the fantastic things that Bruce has also brought is the ability to detect and alert me when my levels, uh, my blood sugar levels, are lowering. One evening I was snoozing in my chair and Bruce came along uncharacteristically and started to make an absolute nuisance of himself. I eventually I awoke and cottoned on to not feeling very well, checked my blood sugar levels, and sure enough, he'd detected that they were going down. And as soon as I'd adjusted, he was fine. If Bruce hadn't detected my levels dropping, uh, the worst case was that uh, I could have ended up in a diabetic coma. He's a fantastic hearing dog. He alerts me to sounds, he alerts me to what's going on around me. He's also developed the skill to tell me when my blood sugars are beginning to lower and to persistently tell me that to make sure I do something about it. He's a great friend.